birthday, John Quincy Adams. Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation page for our tribute and toast for the birthday of one President John Quincy Adams. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil Kiwi, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners in inebriation. The one, the only. Tony fucking G, like, share, subscribe. And the one, the only. Charms! Yes, there we go, folks. Now you can finally hear him at home. All right. So we are here to celebrate the presidency and the life of one John Quincy Adams. He was uh, the first presidential son, uh, which we would find that once or twice in American history. His real love was Madeira wine. He was a proficient drinker, just like his father, John Adams. Both of them could seemingly just drink as much as they wanted without having much inconvenience from it. They didn't seem to really have slurred speech, make bad decisions. Uh, only a few times in John Quincy Adams' diary did he mention being severely inconvenienced from his night before of mm. drinking. So the Adams family was beyond a shadow of a doubt heavyweights of presidential drinking. And one of the ways that he proved it was one time John Quincy Adams had 14 types of Madeira wine placed before him, and he accurately identified the brand of 11. So wow. that's, that, is, hmm. that is a lover of spirits and a lover of wines. Does Madeira differentiate that much brand to brand? Um, it depends. Uh, Madeira is mm, falling off in popularity over the last 150 so years. I'm not familiar with this. Is it like Fireball? No, no, it's okay, okay. no, no, no. That's fair. Anyways, um, what Madeira is, is port is a wine that is fortified with brandy to help it hold for much longer in travel or to just be able to cap it and hold it for years. Madeira is much the same way, except for they use a spirit distilled from cane sugar, so closer to rum. Okay. So if you're a lover of rum and if you're a lover of wine, Madeira might be something to uh, check out, hopefully. We will yeah. see if uh, it's something that we like. Now, Madeira, the reason it's called that is that is an island off the coast of Portugal that almost all Madeira comes from. There's a little bit that comes from, like, California and Texas, but it's not true Madeira. It's... Sure. What are we sampling here? This is Portuguese fine, rich, sweet Madeira. Ooh. Now, what's, there is dry Madeira, which some folks like that for drinking, some folks like it for mixing. It's really good for cooking. Uh, this is the dessert wine. Aha, now we're talking. Now you see what I mean about how it's oh, like yeah. a whiskey. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay. And it spends quite a bit of time in a cask as well, at least three years, which for wine is not bad. So... Let's see how the fancy drink of our forefathers hits the nose, because this was really popular pre-Civil War. Oh, wow. Really like heavy, meaty brandy. Sweet toffiness. Like, yeah. Yeah, I do get your, the meaty. Yeah. But not bad. I've had wines with meaty noses. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I hated them, but. No, sweetness, though, yeah. Like a, hmm. Again, I hate to keep bringing it up with brownies. Yeah. There's kind of like a brownie. I was thinking baked. chocolate, but not specifically brownies. Maybe yeah, a baker's chocolate. Well, shall hmm. we? To John Quincy Adams. Happy birthday, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. That's oh, there's the chocolate. Wow. That's delightful. This that is, is super chocolatey. This is a great after dinner drink. Wow. Like a, a chocolate grape. And That's, for dessert is yeah, yeah dessert, dessert is indeed. Proper. And this bottle wow. only cost me nineteen dollars, so I can mm. see this becoming a wow. That's a part of my dessert wine rotation. And I the guess. great thing is, this bottle will last for years, so mm. long as it's capped. You have wine that's good to go. That's great for after dinner occasions, and this bottle will hold for years. Damn. Mm. That's tasty. 
I like that. Shockingly good. Yeah, I'm surprised how much I like that. Do you do you do you kind of see what I mean? Where it's almost like a fusion of wine and rum. Yeah, yeah. I'm only not slugging it because you've given me shit in the past. So yeah, this one's really good. Yeah, this one's good. It is definitely a sugar cane sweetness. You you get that. Mm -hmm. You can taste that. Mm -hmm. Mm. Sugar cane with that bit of grape in the middle. Mm -hmm. But mm. wow. Yes. Great. Yep. And definitely that port, like you said, that port sticks out. I like that in which, you know, you love far be it for me to argue with the port cask. Now, guys, before we move on here, uh, mm. Mm, this is interesting. Now, Tony, you've had port before. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't believe you have. I, I have had a lot of, that. so we'll, we'll, we'll leave you out of this particular one, but we'll grade this on three different scales here. As a fortified wine, which port and Madeira are fortified wines. Okay. As a wine, okay. red wine, I'd say that's fair enough to call this a red wine, and shelving. So, as a fortified wine, since you've had port before, how would this stack up to the ports that you've had? Five star scale, sir. I'd give this a four and a half because I can drink this. Yep, yep, <laughs> four and a half. As a fortified wine, I'm going to give this a four. This is an excellent fortified wine. I imagine if you were to spend a shit ton more money, you could probably get something that'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. But yeah, this, for the money you're spending, for what you're getting, incredibly good value. Sure. Um, as a wine, and germs you're included in this one, red wine. Of all the red wines you've ever had in your life, how does this one sound? Uh, as a red wine, I'm, I'm not a big red wine fan myself, so I'm going to give this another four and a half. Four and a half. Okay, germs. I'll give it five because, yeah. not a Red, red wines, to me, are naturally bitter, and yep. this is sweet. Yep. Okay, okay. So we got some really good reviews here on red wine. Uh, for red wine, I'm going to give this three and a half. Uh, this really does work as a red wine, and if you had somebody who's a real red wine snob coming over, and you were to pull out a bottle of this Check and the serve them a glass, they would not feel underserved. So, I, I would definitely recommend, if you're planning on entertaining, and you want to seem like a bit more erudite and worldly than perhaps you even are, like, you know, you're standing, like, if you're like the King of Extreme, and you're here at a party, like, I'm saying something incredibly funny, something incredibly erudite, just being the life of the party and like, oh, you know, why not? Oh, here you go. Here's, here's some Madeira while we're at it because I'm just such a worldly so-and-so. It's, 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 it's an excellent thing to pull out. So, hmm. shelving, Tony? I'd put that at the top of my wine rack. Okay. I, like it. I don't have wine, but this is pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's 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 pretty good for that that's an A plus as far as germs is concerned. Fair. It is. This one, in terms of its shelving, as much as I hate to say it, this one would probably just be somewhere near the dining room table. Uh, <laughs> just so it could be readily used and available for anybody who came over. But this is a top shelf fortified. Okay. In case you're curious, so ah, marvelous, marvelous. So, folks, please raise your glasses of whatever you may have at home, whatever your container of liquid, and toast to one John Quincy Adams, President of these United States. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs>